this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a solid colored background and also how to install and use a pattern. So to use a background, I like to use something called an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer can be used to add a solid color, a pattern or a gradient. I prefer to use adjustment layers when creating backgrounds because it allows you to preview your choices and also easily allows you to go in and edit, delete it all together. So I would definitely recommend using this feature where you can. So first of all, let's add a solid color background. Over on our layers panel, you can see that we already have a background layer. This is just a basic 12 inch by 12 inch white canvas. If we go down to the bottom of our layers panel, you will see an icon that's half filled circle. This is called create new fill or adjustment layer. When you click on this, many options will appear. Go down to solid color, click on that and a preview box will appear up here. This is your color picker. If you slide your color picker right to the top, you will see all the colors appear in your spectrum. So you can simply click around and as you can see, it is automatically adjusting your canvas. You can also select colors from your swatches panel as well. Okay, so when you've done, hit OK. But perhaps later on in your project, you want to go in and change this. So the great thing about adjustment layers, is you can easily just double click on this picture with the color and then you can go in and change the color. Now I'm going to show you how to install a patterned background. With this course, we included a free design kit and within the kit, there is a free floral background. So I'm going to just locate that now. I'm going to move my Photoshop in a little bit and I already have my folder opened. So included is this peach floral pattern. I'll just simply double click on this and it will disappear. It looks like nothing's actually happened, but really your pattern has been installed in Photoshop. So I'm just going to make my screen full again. Now I'm going to add another adjustment layer. If you click on the icon again and go down to pattern this time. Now, as you can see, your pattern has automatically appeared. If it hasn't, you can go into this icon here and this is where all your patterns will be installed. Also make sure to check link with layer so that it previews on your screen. The great thing about this is that you can scale your pattern up so the repeat is larger or the repeat is smaller. And you can also move your pattern around. So when you're happy with how your background looks, hit OK. And again, if you want to edit it, just simply double click and your options will come up again. So although there are other ways to adding a pattern or background to your canvas, I find that this method is really effective because you can easily go in and edit. So I definitely recommend using adjustment layers where you can.